Hey, how's it going, tubers? Well, Mr. Green here, and uh, on to the next project. And uh, as you all know, I'm an avid gardener, and I do a lot of uh, gardening on my uh, my channel here. And I'll show you some of my uh, my gardens. This is uh, my big garden here. It hasn't been rototilled yet. The snow just melted, and then we have another garden out there in the center of our property. So. Um, Today's project is to take one of these yellow sheds, I have two of them, and turn it into a greenhouse. Um, I am going to write the company that makes these sheds and see if they can produce a plastic one that just fits over this and exactly like, like the, the outside does right now. So we'll see what they say. and. Uh, I'd be impressed if they did because I'm sure a lot, I'm not the only person that's thought to uh, use one of these as a greenhouse. Because you only need a greenhouse for a couple of months. I'm going to put some, um, some 6 plus poly on it and uh, I'll show you the tracking system that I'm going to use. It's off an old greenhouse and then, um, and then come uh, June when I no longer need the greenhouse, this yellow stuff will go back on and I'll have my storage again. So it's just a dual purpose and it just makes sense. So I'll show you the, this is the poly I'm using. So I just went and got 16 feet by 10 feet wide and it's six or six plus it's called. So it's thick, but it's not too thick. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not UV protected and it's not going to last a long time. That's why, you know, if this company could make it, you know, say for, you know, 60, 70 bucks to buy the plastic, and it be UV protected would be uh, would be a great thing. So now I'll show you the tracking system. These are the channels that uh, I'll be putting the channels over the hoops, and then these ones uh, go along the bottom here. And then there's a wire that feeds back and forth that locks this in. And uh, I'll kind of show you when I get to that point. So I'm going to do uh, a bit of a time lapse. I'll get this camera set up here, and uh, we'll do a bit of a time lapse of uh, me putting this together so we'll talk to everybody soon okay so what I'm now I'm doing I'm just pulling out the poles that uh, hold the bottom of this curtain down Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall those bars to give it strength again, and then uh, we'll start putting the, the side pieces on and start wrapping it. And I want everybody to keep in mind, I have uh, never done this before, so I'm no professional at this, but I'm going to try to come up with whatever, uh, whatever works best. And if I can do it for cheap, the, the plastic cost me about $14 for the plastic for it. So I, uh, and these tracks were free from, uh, from our old greenhouse. We had a greenhouse company when I was a kid. So those are left over. So all of it was pretty much salvageable and the shed I paid uh, $88 on sale for it so um, you know a greenhouse for a hundred dollars so that's pretty good so I'm gonna do the other side and then uh, we'll continue on from there okay well I got all the bars on and uh, now keep in mind if the company were to make a plastic re or one that would just replace the one for a couple of months that fit over the corners and had the loops and all of that I don't have a sewing machine so you wouldn't necessarily need any of the aluminum tracks or the next process that I'm putting on it would just speed that all up and it would just be an instant replacement you put on you replace it take out a couple of bars you put them back on and you're done and that would be uh, the cat's meow but uh, 
I've got to do it this way because right now they don't make such a, a cover that I can find. Um, so here we go. So next thing is, is I've got to put the bottom tracks on and I've got uh, two by six. I've got to cut to length and then it's going to go along the bottom. So I'm going to do that and then we'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, so now that I got that bottom board in there, I'm going to use some uh, galvanized wire and wrap it around there just because it will be easy to take off when I need to and wire is pretty strong. It'll last long enough. So that's my next step. Okay, so now I got that on there nice and tight. Uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side and then we'll be back. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach all these rails and they're aluminum rails. And the way they go on is you take this wire here, the plastic will be in there and you just keep folding it back and forth and it, it will lock that plastic inside. So, and pull them out, it's not, difficult just like so so I'm going to install these on the sides cut the ones for the top and uh, and then we'll be ready to put the plastic on okay well there's the two front ones. I'm gonna do the two back and do the two top and then we'll be back. Okay, so I'm just working my way around the edges. I just threw the plastic up over top. Whoops, sorry. Uh, threw it up over top and now I'm taking the, this and pulling it right along that seam and then locking that channel in. So I'll show you how that's done. I'll bring you a little closer so that you can see how it actually locks in. So there's the channel. I pull that down right where I want it to go. And then I will continue. I'm gonna put you back a little bit further and then we're gonna pull this out and uh, stretch it out, so. All right. Okay guys, well once I got this up here, I'll take a look or I'll, and we'll show you inside and we'll get some temperature readings from inside. Okay guys, well here's what it looks like from the outside. Turned out really well, I'm happy with it. The plastic's pretty tight on it, and uh, I'm already hitting for sure over 30 degrees. I don't have a thermometer out here, but it's over 30 degrees in here now. And uh, there's my tomato plants, and oh, yeah, it's really hot in here. Uh, I've got some more that'll be coming out here shortly, and there's a rose plant. And then I made this big tank. This is going to be like I collect all my rainwater so it'll be brought over from the house into here because I can't put eaves troughs on here obviously and it's just an old tank out of a freshwater tank out of a trailer that I salvaged and I put a little uh, spout there on the bottom and <coughs> and then I just uh, fill it with a funnel and uh, into the top there and then these are your air vents so but there you go guys this uh, this total project will cost you around a hundred dollars to build uh, a nice little greenhouse and uh, when you're done at the end of the season now, all I have to do is throw the yellow stuff right over top of this and uh, I'm ready to go. So, um, sorry, there's some bikes going by. And uh, so once I get uh, more stuff in here, I'll do an update video and uh, let you know how uh, this stands up to the wind and all of that. So thanks everybody for uh, checking out this video. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And as always, if you could click that thumbs up button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a great day.